Hello and welcome to this reaction of Doctor Who. Uh, we are on season three. This is episode 26. Uh, I'm going to say it again. I'm, I'm sorry for the huge jump. I had some people in the uh, comment section tell me that there are big chunks of season three and four missing because of BBC getting rid of some of their stock, I guess I would call it some of their, their reels, their tapes, their, you know, their, their stuff just because they needed space or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, we, we missed most of the first half of the season and I read up on it and there was a really cool Dalek like storyline I wish I could have saw. And uh, here we are. Last episode, they ended up on this arc ship with humans in the future traveling to a different planet. And um, at the end of it, they got captured. So without further ado, see where it goes. Take them into custody, and later they'll be made to answer for the crime that they have committed. Well, listen to Special it. Galactic <laughs> Law. In the common cold. Pointless leaving. It's all my fault. If I'd known it was going to be like this, I'd never have come. Well, you did come, my dear, so it's too late to worry about that and stop sniveling. <laughs> I'm not sniveling, it's me nose running again. You know, I must say that we are usually very healthy. <coughs> spread through the whole ship, become an epidemic. Well, that depends well, on they the also strength have of the virus infection. They haven't occurred or encountered these kind of oh, illnesses. Oh, blow your nose, child. Oh, if only those wretched guardians would let us out of here. Might be able to help. Hmm? <laughs> that is the oddest sign language I've seen. That's another victim. He literally just went like this. It's not showing any signs of abating. And more human guardians have also been taken ill. Thank heaven none of them has died yet. What will happen if one does? It'll be disaster. Each man has his allotted task. No one had reckoned on this eventuality. There must be something we can do about it. It asks the doctor for help. Oh, they got breathing masks. Nothing you can do. Promise me, William. Should anything happen... To me, you mustn't talk this way. Should anything happen to all in your power, along with the others, to make sure the voyage continues, or you for that matter, or he anyone... He ain't gonna get well. But the voyage and the eventual landing of our descendants on the planet refuses. That is... What is it? I don't know. Sounds Literally have an antidote in her blood. Ugh. <laughs> Dude, that looks like the same cart that was in uh, Austin Powers. <laughs> Launching bay. It is over. Will anyone speak for the prisoners? No, really, none of them are. I will. And I. Lord, that being broken is the following. Look, Doctor, they've switched the television on. In that the spaceship represents the only means by which Earth life may be extended and perpetuated, the Guardian, for the time being in charge of the ship, shall have absolute power to punish or restrain... ...for a trial. You can miniaturize people, but you read off charge. paper? Yes, my dear, and we are the accused. Hmm. Doctor, Maniac and I believe your story. We've offered to speak in your defense, but at least one of you must give evidence. Of course. Very well, then, if only they listen. They'll probably ask you to speak next, Doctor. My dear, I only want to help. God, I wish I could have seen Stephen grow into what he is. You came here to destroy us. Why? We're human beings like you are. He's getting why sick. Why should we? There's the crux of the matter. Do you expect us to believe that nonsense? That you, managed in that ridiculous machine called the TARDIS, have managed to travel through time? I've told you before, we know nothing of that planet! My Look how instinct, he sweats. every fiber of my being tells me differently. That, unfortunately, tells me only one thing. What's that? That the nature of man, even in this day and age, hasn't altered at all. 
Yes, he probably would if you'd let him out of that cell so that he had a chance to experiment. Oh, yes, of course he would. He would love that. And by such means, spread the fever even further and faster. Perhaps he Why would are people one always so paranoid? Are we to be fooled by such tricks? No! Oh, listen, listen, listen to me! Listen, Guardian, listen, listen to me! This is a court of law! Let him speak! This is a fair hearing. Doesn't sound My like it's fair. The reason in this matter is simple and direct. The doctor and his companions have not denied that they brought the fever among us. The fever is here. We Does have he no answer it? for it. And it might well be that they are the only ones who can cure it. Our microbiologists may still find an answer. Perhaps. But if we were to agree that the doctor and his friends could, what is the value in expelling them from the spaceship? Do you want to hear more? Never mind the arguments of the Defender, because now they are nothing. Now that one of our own kind has died. Nothing is fucking... So, Guardians, what is your answer to the charge? They shall be taken from this place and expelled from the ship. And the privilege of execution, in that they were the first to be struck by the fever. You know, if if it's so virile... Doctor, then why is, is wrong with Stephen. Why is everyone not getting sick? You and your party have been condemned by an overwhelming majority, and your sentence is ejection into space. Are you aware that you might be committing your entire community to a slow extinction? The verdict has been given. What a clown. Well, you are right, of course. Well, of course, there's no question. But... Wait! This has gone far enough. Zentos, this is your commander speaking. I order you to release the travelers immediately. They may be our only hope. See to it. I love how three people are the only people but that see this. But the hearing decided differently, Commander. These people are dangerous. Don't argue with me, Zentos. I wish the doctor to use his young friend as a guinea pig. If he succeeds in curing him, okay. then I will set aside the verdict of the court. That's fair. Thanks, right? Bob. Experiment on him first. Why are you so suspicious and angry of everything? I don't like that guy. I don't like him at all. At last, we're near a solution. But he's already sweating with the fever in the same way that my father My is. dear young lady, please do as you're told. Now, <laughs> where is that other young woman I want? Here I am, Doctor. Oh, good. Now, look here. Go to the TARDIS. Doctor, <laughs> English. our biologists are willing to give you all the help you need. Can you describe the virus responsibly? Yes, sir. I wrapped Stephen warmly. Is there anything else I can do? Yes. Now, I want you to find all the sick people in this spaceship and give them the same treatment. Now, this job. This job. <laughs> I is... called everyone child. Cracks me up. The combination of these two membrane fluids, a little at a time, should do the trick. Ah, thank you, thank you. You know, you're far more knowledgeable than most people realize, aren't you? <laughs> Are you going to try it now? Well, I don't I, see why not. Yes, I, I, need some, I need some explanation on this name, Dodo. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I would do without you. Don't you have to squirt it into his arm? What, with a hypodermic needle? Good gracious, no. They went out a long time ago. <laughs> oh, needles, no fun. Uh, mm -mm. Here we are. Now all we have to do is to wait and watch. Come along. Is that going to work, though? Wouldn't their physiology be just a little different? Is there anything further I can do? No, it's just a matter of time, my dear. Come along. I hope it worked, so they could How shove it in that guy's went? face. They weren't sure. I mean, even the guy that was the prosecutor. Hey, I think I give him the right treatment. Hmm. Seems like he's more. It's a long time now since you gave him that stuff, and the fever only seems to be getting worse. <laughs> well, it's about an hour, my dear. I mean, he's going to be all right, my dear. <laughs> and he looks like he's not breathing. That's just a little. 
prisoner running through the ship. You have nothing further to worry about, sir. The sick have been tended to, and the others immunized against further attack. It's going to look very beautiful. Yes, our descendants will know its meaning when they put the finishing touches to it. In 700 years' time. Yes, in 700 years' time. Well, we must be up. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. I Goodbye, thought this was dear. four. Goodbye. Goodbye. Remember, your journey is very important, young man. Therefore, you must travel with understanding as well as hope. Goodbye, Zentos. Goodbye, Doctor. I don't like you. Oh, that thing is... That is awfully annoying. I thought this was four! What the hell? Is it going to bring him right back? It's going to bring him back then? It's a time period? Oh, tell me this is happening. You really must let me go first, child. Oh, well, that's strange. Something must have gone wrong. It appears we've landed back in the same place. Take a look oh. at this, my boy. Look, there's nobody here, is there? We've only been gone a few seconds. Lily, I'm back, who? In your perspective. Doctor Stephen, look! What is it, my dear? What have you found? Hmm? And it's not humans. Uh oh. <laughs> it appears the. Oh God, I'm gonna mess up their names. What are they called? Mon Monarchs? Took over. Dad, yeah, I don't see it. Alright. Well, they fixed the plague, but they might have caused another issue. Uh, oh, that should be fun. I can't wait to watch it. So, a little heated this episode. You might. We'll see if it makes the, the cut. Um, that guy really pissed me off. Like, I, I can understand slightly his suspicion. All right. You know, newcomers on the ship, doesn't know him. Got it, but uh, not not even giving them a chance to maybe see if they could help, and just being like, you know, middle finger, not not even gonna try. You're just gonna, we're just gonna throw you out of an airlock. Did not like that guy at all. the The guy I actually liked the most in this was the commander. You know, even even sick, I'll be feeling like complete butt. He was very willing to. Hear out the doctor and see what they had to say. So, and uh, my favorite scene was right there at the end when we got the reveal that the statue wasn't human. So, did all the humans die? Was there a revolt? Did these people take over? Guess I'll find out in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. Like, share, subscribe. Find me in Discord, comment below. Till next time, take care.